Hi, I'm Marina, and I'm thrilled to introduce my mentee, Dorothy. It's been such a joy to get to know her this year. The kinds of writing we've done and the conversations we've had, whether it's about difficult subjects like the pandemic and the surge in anti-Asian racism, or fun topics like both of us watching Grey's Anatomy, have all been a real balm in this difficult year. I'm so, so proud of the way Dorothy has become a bold and confident writer, and I think the powerful and evocative poem that you're about to hear really encapsulates that. Hi everyone, as Marina mentioned, I'm Dorothy, a first year Girls Right Now mentee, and I'm so excited to share my work with you all today. After working with Marina this past year, our writing relationship has inspired me to go outside my comfort zone from the things that I normally write about. From giving me advice to reading her own work, she has helped me challenge myself the way that I use the English language to not only empower myself, but also the issues that I care about. And my poem today is a product of how I developed as a writer. So without further ado, here is my poem, Reverie. I am a dreamer of ambition, ambitious for a world filled with daisies and butterflies, coupled with bright sunrises and blue skies. I listen to the sparrows chirp their morning melodies, creating a symphony with the rustling leaves. I wait for the sky to clear so the sun can arrive, but that is a reality I am unprepared for. Uncovered by thick clouds and fog, I see the wilted fields and withering grass, illuminated by the streaks of sunshine, hidden under ignorance and indifference, and soon forgotten under the stroke of darkness. I tell myself I am strong and brave with an eye for sight. I envision meadows of lavender instead, bathing under bright rays of yellow, yearning to see the butterflies once more. But they tell me I am fragile and weak without a voice with might. They took my cries calling for the birds and threw them into the breeze, letting them succumb to the wind. I keep dreaming of the daisies, waiting for their bloom, wishing to sit and welcome the warmth. But this reality can only be a dream flickering in my mind, because I am only ambitious if I dream, and I can only dream if I am ambitious. Thank you.